welcome back to my channel. There's a really good reason why I am sat on the floor today next to this beautiful IKEA cabinet. Um, this is just a chest of drawers that I bought from IKEA quite a while ago. Don't dislike it, it's just not anything special, it's quite plain. So I have partnered up with the delightful Create Your World Limited once again and they have provided me with very hard to see, I might need to take it out of its cellophane packet anyway. This is, oh my god it's so nice. Oh it's shiny, it's got like a silky feel. So I basically saw one of the posts on their Instagram of a chest of drawers that looked so nice using this and also this really nice dark grey to basically give this kind of chest of drawers a nice little upcycle and I saw it and I was like oh that looks so nice and so expensive and it doesn't look anything like a plain Ikea unit and I just thought I'm just gonna give it a go and see whether I can update this to make it look just as beautiful. I was debating replacing these little handles as well but I just I don't know yet but I might just cover the little handles in this and kind of just like incorporate it in so the white doesn't stand out too much. Anyway, so they've provided me with a lovely long roll of this. I'm also later on going to upcycle my TV stand with this as well because that is a black glass TV stand and I absolutely hate it because the dust settles, the, the second you dust it, the dust just kind of like clings to black glass. So I thought maybe if I cover the black glass with this, I might not hate it so much. So we'll see if that's the case but this I just I've never really used I've never really used a patterned one I've used like a wood effect one but not really a patterned one I've never seen anything like this before in DC fix range so I just had to get this hard to tell is that navy I think it's like a navy dark grey colour I really can't tell I might have to ask, ask Jim later because we always debate colours he thinks I'm colour blind Anyway, oh, I'll let you guys choose if that is navy or dark grey. But they match really well. I think dark grey, it's just kind of got a touch of shimmery. It just makes it kind of bluey. It's gorgeous. I'm not one for like crazy, crazy bold designs, but this is just so simple and elegant. Oh my gosh. It's beautiful. It's so beautiful. I don't know whether you can see that without the light kind of shining off it that is so nice so my plan is to put that on this section on the front of each drawer and then use this for all of the brown sections just to cover that section up i feel like the plain white desk that i've got immediately next to this is going to have to have some sort of dc fix makeover as well eventually because this is going to stand out quite a bit next to that one i feel like or, or vice versa that's going to stand out as not being as good don't want to damage this. Okay, so the tools that I've got that I'm going to use to help me. This DC Fix tool, like a application tool, I'm going to be using. It's a little bit dirty just because I've used it before for doing some other stuff in the kitchen. But anyway, I think it's mostly, I don't know. It doesn't really matter. I can still use it. Oh. And this <laughs> is just a tool I was using and oh, a bit funny. It's just a blade that's going to help to trim the lines around the cabinet once I've done once I've done once I've kind of like done the main coat with a pair of scissors, which I do have. Yes, pair of scissors. So once I've kind of cut them to size, once I've stuck them on, this is used to just trim around the edge. I re replaced my bathroom flooring the other day with some vinyl and this came in real handy for trimming the edges on that as well. So that's why it's a little bit a little bit mucky and rusty. Um I have a couple of screwdrivers as well just to take off these handles. This is the before and I will show you the after at the end of the video. Oh, it's like grey as well. Uh, well. I thought it was black. I 
thought it was navy. Oh. I said, I literally <laughs> mentioned a minute ago that me and you were going to have a debate about the colour of a bit. But I didn't think you were going to think it was a... I thought it was black, black when I first saw it. I mean, I'm a teen, I can't remember, yeah, so it might be it. Oh, it looks beautiful. <laughs> of the cabinet done I've literally just used um oh what the rest of it yeah not that much of this so I still have some left so I'll have to have a little look around my house and see whether I fancy this stuff anywhere else um it was a little bit more difficult to use than the than the usual DC fix stuff because it's thicker and shiny it just kind of it was just harder to play with like I've had to cut a straight edge rather, rather than folding it round. I just feel like it was too thick to do that. I wouldn't quite stick. Um, so yeah, if you're gonna use this, just just think about where you're going to put it and kind of put it on bits that you can maybe just do the front of something like this um, rather than do wrapping round. I think it looks beautiful. And I just need to do the handles with the gray, I think. Um, I think it'd be too much to leave the white and too much to cover them in this pattern. So see how I got on with the rest of the cabinet. <laughs> stuff back inside it which isn't much fun because I think it needs a sort out. <laughs> The 
there we go that's a wrap no that's really really cheesy isn't it anyway there we go i have finished wrapping the unit with dc fix i think it looks beautiful it kind of makes the room look quite different um i don't know what it is it's just kind of a dark look i feel like i have wrapped these in dc fix the handles but i feel like they look better spray painted i've never spray painted anything but i feel like kind of i don't know black or or maybe a gold similar to the the gold that's in there i think spray painted they look really really nice or completely replaced because I just don't like those handles at all. Anyway, the finished look is pretty nice. Everything looks really different on the top. I don't know. It just gives it a completely different look to what it had before. So yeah, I've got plenty of that left over, but today I'm a little bit exhausted, so I'm going to stop using DC Fix for the day, I think. I'm just gonna take a break. I may well do a video on some others. If not, I may just do some Instagram posts. Stay tuned, follow me on Instagram, and please subscribe to my channel if you did enjoy this video. I do lots of videos like this, and also just a mixture of things that I get up to in my life, basically. So if you don't think I'm too weird, please stick around and follow, and I shall see you in my next video. Mm -hmm.